Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Rosa White, Chief Financial Officer at DR Fortress. Rosa, welcome to JSA TV. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here. For those who don't already know, please tell our viewers about DR Fortress. Oh, DR Fortress is the largest data center in Hawaii. We're a carrier neutral facility with about 50,000 square feet and about uh, 500 racks right now. Uh, and we service um, most of the largest enterprises here in Hawaii, including financial institutions, hospitals, uh, airlines, in addition to all of the carriers that are located in Hawaii. Uh, we provide data center services and also cloud uh, services, either via white label or through our partners. I understand that DR Fortress has some exciting news to share at ITW this year. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we're really excited. We are announcing yet another expansion here in Hawaii. We're going to be adding about 130 racks um, into our facility. We've started all of the design and the permitting um, and ordered a lot of the um, infrastructure equipment. With uh, COVID-19, we're seeing a little bit of delay in both the equipment uh, being shipped to Hawaii. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we planned ahead and had the facility ready to go in Q4. Um, the reason for the expansion is really servicing a lot of the requests that we've been getting from um, you know, carriers wanting to uh, deploy their 5G network, a lot of our cloud providers needing more um, space for their services. And so we needed to be ready and stay ahead of the demand. Exciting expansion and growth news for DR Fortress. Well, in addition, it's hurricane season. We can't forget about that. It's here and, and top of mind for folks in Hawaii. So could you tell us how DR Fortress is protecting mission critical data at its world-class data facility? Sure, sure. Actually, um, it's it's kind of crazy. We are ahead of the planning schedule this year. With COVID-19, we had to make special precautions and put in extra safety measures for our employees and our customers. So this the the normal exercise that we take in that take place in June, um, we've kind of already pre-started. But um, typically, what we do is we retrain our staff every year, and we uh, go through a, um, a hurricane scenario. Um, or any sort of other natural uh, disaster that could happen. And so the staff gets trained and we have a primary, uh, secondary and tertiary in every single department. And every single person has a checklist of what they need to do. I won't go through the details. We're talking about you know, two to three pages per department. Um, but we go through that and walk through and make sure that in the event um, the, a storm is coming 48 hours, 36 hours, 24 hours, we know specific steps that we're supposed to do. And in the event that the primary team cannot handle that responsibility, then we have our secondary teams come in and take over. We just have to be prepared for anything. I mean, this is the reason why customers come to DR Fortress is to handle any sort of natural disaster that hits the islands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we need to be ready to go and um, prepare for this. So what we've done this year is something a little different. We got so many requests from customers and that we usually send them snippets of our checklist or just give them kind of references that we use. So this year we're actually launching a hurricane preparedness ebook and that will be available on our site um, and we'll be sending that out to customers. And so we wanted to share kind of what we do to make sure that it's various businesses can have the proper steps in place. I mean, a lot of it's common sense. We have customers that have vehicle fleets and so what to do with their vehicle fleets or inventory. And then of course we have customers that are purely, you know, professional uh, service providers that have, um, you know, hosted equipment and provide services to customers. So they have special needs as well. So we try to make the ebook just as consolidated as possible for the various businesses and hopefully it kind of is a nice you know, checklist for everyone to say, okay, this is what we need to do and just get everybody ready. The Air Fortress being a partner for the community for sure with that hurricane preparedness ebook. So Rosa, where can our viewers go to learn more about the DR Fortress data center, services, ebook, and more? 
Oh, yeah. You can go to our website, which is www.drfortress.com. That's all one word. And uh, there you'll see kind of a picture gallery of our facility. Uh, you could download the ebook that we just talked about and see kind of our press releases and the events that we've been doing. Um, and in addition, if you wanted to come see our site, you can just request a tour and uh, one of our sales folks can take you for a tour. We are still under COVID-19 um, precautionary measures here in Hawaii. Um, however, we are allowing customers to come in uh, to handle their services. So with our tours, we need to kind of follow special steps, but we can certainly handle those. Okay, go check out DR Fortress. Reach Rosa and her team and they'll be happy to help you. Appreciate your time here, Rosa. Thank you so sure. much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.